Bonjour, and welcome to an introduction to Ojibwe Moan, episode 7. Last time, we discussed personal pronouns and noun possession. Today, we're going to start looking at animate intransitive verbs and their conjugations, including command form. First, however, I'd like to take a minute to remind everyone that even though the road to learning Ojibwe Moan can be a difficult one, patience and perseverance will pay off. Again, there is no one right way to speak Ojibwe, and misspeaking will happen. That's part of the fun. Take your time, go through the lessons at your own pace, and try to find time and place to use the language daily, even if you're just talking to your pets. That being said, let's move on with our lesson. Animate intransitive verbs, V-A-I. First, let's review the VAIs we've covered so far. Then, let's talk about who's doing it. Bimose, he or she is walking. Jibakwe, he or she is cooking. Niba, he or she is sleeping. Bija, he or she is coming this way. Maja, he or she is leaving. Bimibatu, he or she is running. For this lesson, let's look at the word niba. In the default, the verb is in a third person, he or she form. In order to change who you are talking about, you need to change the word using prefixes, pieces put on the beginning of the word, and suffixes, pieces put on to the end of the word. If I was trying to tell someone that I was sleeping, I would say, Niniba, I am sleeping. So to change a word into the first person, you simply add ni, nind, or nim as the first letter of the word dictates. If you'd like to add emphasis to your statement, you can add the word neen. Neen Niniba, or Niniba neen. If you were in a dream and I needed to tell you that you were sleeping, you would probably dream me saying, Giniba, you are sleeping. So if you're making a word second person, just add gi or gid. And as before, you can add gin to add emphasis. Giniba gin or gin giniba. As I stated before, if the verb is left unchanged, it's already in the he or she third person singular form. You can add emphasis by adding ween to these words. Ween niba or niba ween. If you wanted to tell somebody that we are sleeping and they clearly are not, you might say ninibamin. For the we exclusive, Add the appropriate ni at the beginning and min at the end. And, as usual, you can add emphasis adding nina wind. If, however, the person you're talking to is also asleep, then you use the we inclusive gi nabamin with the possibility of adding gina wind for emphasis. So, whether we're referring to us inclusively or exclusively, the word always ends in min. Alrighty, if you wanted to tell a group of people that you are sleeping, you all are asleep, you could try saying g nibam, not that they would necessarily hear you. For the second person plural form, you use g at the beginning and add m at the end. Again, adding gina wa for emphasis if you feel like it. However, if you're sitting up late with your grandma and she asks you where your kids are, you might be able to respond, Nibawag, they are sleeping. So for they, third person plural, you simply add wug to the end. And of course, you may add weena wa for emphasis if it suits you. I will conjugate some of our VAIs in the companion videos to this episode. Here's a handy chart you might want to write down until you've mastered the animate intransitive conjugation. N, I I am. G, you are. He or she is. N, min. We, not you are. 
ge, men. We, including you, are ge, m, use, you plural are wug, they are. Now we can have a little fun. It's time to be bossy. Let's talk about command form. Telling someone to be or do animate intransitive verbs. If I wanted to tell someone to sleep, in a very firm but loving voice I would say, Niban. That's right, it's that simple. To give a command to a single person, you simply add an N to the end of the word. Now if you're speaking to a group of people who should already be asleep, you might say Nibag or Nibayuk. Adding either a G or a Yuk. If you wanted to tell everyone, let's all go to sleep, you might say Nibada, let's all sleep. Adding Da on the end of the word turns it into a let's all do the thing. Without translating, here are the conjugations we have gone over. Niniba, Giniba, Niba, Ninibamin, Ginibamin, Ginibam, Nibawag. Niban Nibag Nibayuk Nibada Next time, on an introduction to Ojibwe, we will look a little closer at some question words. Once we get through that lesson, it should be a little easier to have some basic conversations. Here are today's new words to add to your vocabulary. Animate noun. Dewe a gun. A drum. Dewe a gun. Inanimate noun. Mazina a gun. A book. Mazina a gun. Inanimate intransitive verb. Sugipun. It is snowing. Sugipun. Animate intransitive verb. Odabi iwe. He or she is driving. Odabi iwe. Transitive inanimate verb. Ojitun. Make it. Ojitun. Transitive animate verb. Ojitao. Make it for him or her. Ojitao. That does it for this episode of An Introduction to Ojibwe Moan. Remember, do your best, don't stress, and above all, have fun. Giga Next time on An Introduction to Ojibwe Moan.